All right, so this dog has a diseased second molar. So, challenging the C. The furthest back to way back here. Um, and it's kind of hard to get to, but there is a good trick to getting it out. Maddie, do you mind holding this for me? Not at all. I get a little bit of exposure I can show right here. See if I can't adjust this in such a way that you can see. All right. So, we're going for this tooth right here. It's hard to see because it's hidden behind that guy. That one way back there. And so, what we're gonna do, and it's wiggly and mobile, and there's big pockets around it. We get a big luxator, like way bigger than we would typically use on this dog at all for anything except maybe the canines. And we're gonna go in perpendicular to the teeth instead of parallel to the root. Kind of try and wedge it in between those two teeth. Once we have it in there, we're going to kind of twist. So just apply some steady pressure. Apparently he's getting a little bit light, so we'll give him a break. And so what I'm doing, and I won't actually do it, but putting the elevator in this direction and then twisting like this and getting some leverage against this tooth. And what we'll do is actually roll that tooth out eventually. So we'll apply pressure until you notice a little bit of bleeding around it, release for a second, let the blood well up underneath the tooth and provide a little bit of elevation for us and then do it again. It should really just roll it right out. Didn't they know anything about her drop off too this morning? Yes, I I have examined her. I need to talk to them. She has a little mass that I've done some cytology on. Okay. Just letting you know that she's doing well. We've done the examination, fixed finishing up surgery, and then we'll keep in the call. Yes. Like a professional line. You know the drill. Thank you, yeah, Sarah. Yeah. feel it starting to go, so I'm going to back off for a second, yep. reposition here, and go again, and it just rolls right out, and the uh, hardest part sometimes is getting it to release from the soft tissue that it's attached to, oftentimes you'll have to actually go in and cut that away. and keep it in the field of view here. Right. And that's that. You can see it has very short roots on it, so they're really not likely to break off. I'll try that on any other tooth. I've tried it earlier in my career to do it on this next one here, and you almost always break this palatal root, so it's the only tooth you can do it to, but pretty cool trick. All right. 